This is the ultimate redefined for men. Hello and welcome to Sports News. I am Kayode Alayode. The national junior champion Tosin Oribamashe and Lagos Open star Nuruddin Hassan will lead Team Nigeria to the International Table Tennis Federation World Junior Circuit in Egypt. Oribamashe, who won the ASO tournament uh, recently in Abuja, will be joined by Halimot Ainla, Muibat Bilu, and two others in the girls' event. Hassan will lead the boys' team, which include African Youth Games champion Olasunkomi Ogini, as well as teenage sensation Abayomi Animashong. Nigeria junior players will face a tough challenge from juniors players from host Egypt, Tunisia, and Algeria at the competition holding from June the 8th to the 12th. Now, more schools have confirmed they will be participating in this year's Channels National Kids Cup. The boys from Research Model School will represent Kaduna, while School Road Primary School in Umahia will compete as representatives of Abia State. Enyanuge Primary School defeated Ogudua Primary School 4-0 in the final preliminary match to pick up the ticket for Edo State, while Focal Point Primary School will represent Kwara State. And Sarudin Nursery and Primary School Lokaja will fly the flag of Kogi State. Season 7 of the Channels National Kids Cup will kick off on Thursday, 21st of this month at the Teslim Balogun Stadium. And on a larger scale, the Confederation of African Football has picked referee Asumani Nali from Niger as center referee for the 2017 Africa Cup of Nations qualifier between Nigeria and Chad. This is scheduled for the Amadou Bello Stadium, Kaduna, on June the 13th. Musa Nali will be assisted by countryman Sadisu Idi, Abdul Sali, and Gomno Dauda as the reserve referee. The Super Eagles confront the Italians in the opener to the 2017 Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers uh, in Egypt and Tanzania, the other teams in Group G. And former Grand Slam doubles tennis champion Bob Hewitt has been sentenced to six years in prison by a South African court in Pretoria after he was found guilty of two counts of rape and a charge of sexual assault of minors. Mr. Hewitt was found guilty of assaulting three underage girls during his time coaching children in South Africa in the years between 1980s and the 1990s. Before sentencing, Hewitt pleaded with the court to take his poor health into consideration and said he had received anonymous threats warning of assault if he was put behind bars. The court extended Hewitt's bail until tomorrow when his legal team will appeal the sentence. And that's all on sports news tonight. I'm Kaidi Alayande. The rest of the news will continue with Amarachi Kuban in just a moment. This is the ultimate redefined for men. Barely a week after the failed coup attempt which tried to overthrow a Burundian president, Pierre Nkurunziza, small groups of protests have resumed on the streets of the capital, Bujumbura. And we understand the atmosphere is still tense. The soldiers deployed on the streets uh, where more than 20 people were killed in almost three weeks of protests remain. Cynthia Are has more. Thank you. The president's third-term aspirations have plunged Burundi into its worst crisis since an ethnically charged civil war, which ended back in 2005. More than 100,000 refugees have fled to neighboring Rwanda, Democratic Republic of Congo, and Tanzania, fearing political tensions will take on ethnic hues and also trigger an all-out conflict between the Hutu majority and Tutsi minority that could engulf Africa's Great Lakes region. Still on Burundi, there are a lot of people who are not in support of Mr. Nkurunziza's aspirations. However, that group might not include Kenya's president, Uhuru Kenyatta. Rather, he's concerned about the timing of the election. 
He told his Burundian counterpart, Mr. Nkurunziza, that he should postpone a presidential election due next month after last week's failed military coup. Also today, the condemnations regarding the sentence of Muhammad Mercy continue. The latest is coming from senior Muslim cleric Sheikh Yusuf al Karadawi. He has condemned the death sentences passed on the former Egyptian president as well as himself and 105 supporters of the Muslim Brotherhood group over a mass jailbreak in 2011. Finally, EU foreign and defense ministers are expected to approve a mission to destroy the boats used by people smugglers operating in war-torn Libya. There was a meeting in Brussels where the ministers discussed the mission's command and control structure and headquarters. Well, that's the foreign news wrap-up. It's back to you, Marachi. Thanks a lot, Cynthia. And the main news again. Former UN diplomats Professor Ibrahim Gambari has advised the president-elect General Muhammadu Buhari to come up with better strategies on how to tackle the problems facing the country. Professor Gambari today asked the incoming administration to put issues of corruption, unemployment and poverty on the front burner. The Northern Governors Forum today held a meeting for the first time after the 2015 general election in Abuja and elected Governor Kashim Shatima of Borno State as its new chairman. That's the news at 10 tonight. Thank you for watching. I am Amarachi Ubani. Good night.